My name is Saba Ganai, and I am board certified in both general surgery and complex general surgical oncology. And uh, what I'm actually looking at is the, how to treat patients who have what's called peritoneal carcinomatosis or spread of tumor throughout their abdominal cavity. And the way we do this is a combined approach where we do a debulking surgical procedure uh, combined with administration of chemotherapy in the operating room. And that may seem like a strange place to deliver chemotherapy, but what we can do is while the patient is asleep, we actually use special pumps to administer this chemotherapy directed in the abdominal cavity at higher temperatures than normal. The other benefits of this approach is essentially that we can limit the toxicity or the bad side effects to the abdominal cavity and we can actually give a higher dose of the chemotherapy drug directed where the tumor is. Examples of these tumor types include appendix cancer, and peritoneal mesothelioma. And um, there are also indications to the, do this kind of treatment for carcinomatosis from colorectal cancer as well. So what's innovative is we are actually creating a team here in Springfield, and that includes before the patient even gets to the operating room through using a multidisciplinary approach. So all of our patients are reviewed by a team that includes radiologists, medical oncologists, myself as a surgical oncologist, as well as numerous other specialists. And we're able to then review all of our patients preoperatively and cr create a, a um, ideal treatment plan for them. It's really important um, to be able to care for your community and bring optimal cancer care to the region. Basically, over the last year and a half, we've been able to do over a dozen of these cases in Springfield. These are patients who would otherwise have to travel to Chicago or Pittsburgh or Washington, D.C. to get the same level of care. I really feel that it's important for a large state like Illinois to be able to have um, excellent surgical oncology services in central and southern Illinois so that patients do not have to travel out of state. At this point, Barnes does not do high-pec therapy, yet we do. And this provides an um, offering to the surgical uh, community as well as it ups the game for our level of cancer care expertise within Springfield. And one of the important things that we're dealing with is central and southern Illinois still have very high cancer rates. And I think we uh, still have a lot more work to do to be able to better address the needs of our communities in terms of screening as well as effective treatments for patients with cancer. I think the greatest joy is um, to be able to offer patients hope and uh, uh, a, a great example is the first patient we performed HIPEC on in our community. I just saw him at his two-year anniversary from his initial therapy. And when he initially presented, he was told he did not have options. And that, I think, is very discouraging. Um, you know, at, at this point, he has no evidence of disease. Ideally, what we want to offer patients, uh, not just hope, but a chance for cure. I really feel that the Medical Innovators Award is really a great honor, but also a testament to the work that not just myself, but how we've been able to work as teams in the region of Sangamon County to elevate cancer care. And I think it's more of a reflection of the work of many people to, to improve cancer care for the region.